Every moving object has momentum. This is the tendency of an object to keep moving in the same direction unless acted upon by an external force. You'll have a hard time trying to change the direction of movement of an object with a lot of momentum, unless you're Neo of course. It depends on an object's mass and its velocity, so the equation for calculating it is P equals MV, where P is the momentum in kilogram meters per second, M is the mass in kilograms, and V is the velocity in meters per second. A basic example of this would be the momentum of a 20 kilogram trolley travelling at 2 meters per second would have a momentum of 40 kilogram meters per second. However, calculating momentum in a collision isn't as straightforward. To do this, we use the conservation of momentum law, which states the amount of momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after the collision. If a car has a mass of 1,000 kilograms and is traveling at 7 meters per second and hits the back of another car with a mass of 1,500 kilograms, which was stationary before the collision, then we can work out the velocity of the two cars as they roll off as a single mass. Firstly, we work out the momentum of each object individually. So the first car has a momentum of 10,000 1500 kilogram meters per second and the second car has a momentum of 0 kilogram meters per second then we add them together but because velocity has direction so does momentum and so we have to make one of these values negative to show it's moving in the opposite direction in this case it doesn't matter because it's zero now we know the momentum before the collision we also know it after the collision so all we have to do now is add the masses of the two cars together and divide it from the momentum to get 4.2 meters per second 